Welcome to Azure Data Explorer Shorts. I'm Brad with the Azure Data Explorer team, and today we're going to walk through setting up Azure Event Hub Ingestion Pipeline using one-click ingestion in Azure Data Explorer. Before jumping into the portal, let's take a look at the overall process. For the purposes of this video, we're going to assume that certain resources have already been deployed, so we won't cover these steps during this video. So number one, you should have an Azure Event Hub namespace and Event Hub. You should also have an Azure Data Explorer cluster with a database. And then you should also have some events flowing to your Event Hub so that we can use these to set up the data ingestion. So the steps that we'll take during the video is number one, we'll create the table in Azure Data Explorer. Then we'll create the ingestion mapping for that table. And then the final step will be to create the data connection to Azure Event Hub so that we set up that managed ingestion so that whenever events land in Event Hub, they'll be ingested into Data Explorer. The easiest and recommended method to accomplish these three steps is to utilize one-click ingestion, which we'll walk through during this video. Now in a web browser, go to portal.azure.com. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the event hub and see the sample events that are going into that event hub. So in the search bar, you can look for event hubs. Um, go ahead and find the event hub that you're sending the data over to and go down to event hubs. In this case, we're do, using a demo EH01 namespace and the actual event hub is named ingestion demo. So we'll go ahead and click on ingestion demo. Um, once in here, we can take a look at the data that's flowing in by going to the process data, then click on explore. This will bring up an explorer window where you can look at the data that's sitting on Event Hub. You can click on the raw data here to verify that the data is in JSON format and it looks like you expect before jumping over to Data Explorer and starting the ingestion process. Now we'll go over to your Data Explorer cluster by going to dataexplorer.azure.com. If you haven't already connected to your cluster, go ahead and connect using the cluster URI. And once connected, you can take a look and see the databases on there. In this case, we're going to use the test database to ingest the data in. If you remember back to our steps, we have three steps that we need to accomplish now. Number one, we need to create the table in ADX. The second step is to create the ingestion mapping from Event Hub. And then the third step is to create that data connection that will continuously import the data from Event Hub. Uh, if you wanted to, you could do those steps manually. You could do control commands to create the table and create the ingestion mapping. And then you could go back over to the portal and create the data connection. The recommended method and the easiest method is to use one-click ingestion. And we'll walk through that now, which will complete all three of those steps for you. One-click ingestion is a very powerful tool that gives you a bunch of different options from simply creating tables to ingesting local files to ingesting data on blob. For this, we'll go down to the bottom and we'll select the option to ingest data from Event Hub. In the next table, you're specifying the table that you want to store the data in. Make sure you selected the right database and give the table a name. For this, we're just calling it Event Hub Sample. In the source tab, you're making your connection to Event Hub. So the first thing to do is to go ahead and pick the correct Event Hub namespace and then the Event Hub. Uh, I went ahead and named the data connection ingestion demo. You'll want to give it a display name that when you look at it in the portal, you'll know what that data connection is for. Uh, I'm using the default consumer group. If you have a, a consumer group that is created just for Data Explorer, pick that consumer group, and then we're going to have compression be none, and then we're not going to pull any event system properties. In the next tab, it's going to look for relevant samples within Event Hub to determine the schema. Make sure that the data format is correct. You can see here that it tried to pick up text format to begin with, so we'll go ahead and cancel, change that to the JSON format that is on Event Hub, and then retry that connection. Once it picks up some sample events, you'll see what they look like down below, and you can verify that you have the right columns at the right types. Once you're okay with the way that the data looks and the way that it'll be ingested, you can go ahead and click on Next, which will go ahead and create the table. It will create the ingestion mapping, and it'll start ingesting data into Data Explorer. You'll want to verify that the new ingestion pipeline is working as expected, and you can go back over to the query window in order to do this. 
A couple of things to note before jumping over there is it will take a little bit of time because of the batching process. And so you can expect it to be up to five minutes for the data to start showing. The other thing to note is it's only going to pick up new messages. So you'll need messages flowing into Event Hub. So the way that Event Hub works is you'll get messages from the point that you create that data ingestion pipeline and forward. You won't get any of that historical data. So just keep that in mind before jumping over and expecting to see data in Data Explorer. But here we're back in the query window and you can see if that we have a new table named Event Hub Sample. And if you expand that out, it's got the four columns as we expect. And then we can hop over to the query window. And the first query that we'll run is just a count of the number of rows in the Event Hub Sample. And you can see that we have a bunch of rows in there. So let's just take a look at some of them. We'll take a look at 10 of them using the take command and make sure that the data looks like what we expect within that table, which it does. And so now we've set up that continuous ingestion and everything is flowing as expected. In this video, we've looked at the process to set up a managed ingestion pipeline into Azure Data Explorer utilizing Event Hub.